The best aspect of being a camera operator has got to be the, the sort of physical one-to-one -one with the camera and creating a shot that the director has, has in his mind's eye, let's say, and you have to decipher his, the nuances of what he wants from what he's brought or read from the script and make that practical. Well, you're always helping the director achieve their vision. A lot of it is just listening listening to your directors, watching your actors. You're often given a task, so you've set your camera, whether it be a track, and you know you've got various actors coming at various times. Largely, it is just letting it all play out, so when something's rehearsed, you get to sort of get a feel for how it's all going and which is the best place to put yourself in order to tell that story. I enjoy the buzz of being on set. I like the creativity, working with different directors, different directors of photography. Some people like to dictate where you put the camera and other people will give you more of a free reign and ask you to sort of put your creativity into it. It is completely different from working on a single drama where you're working with the same DOP and director for maybe three or four months. It makes it certainly more interesting in a way because everybody's got a different approach to how they work and you just adapt to that, really. The creativity is always there, but often you, you do work to instruction and then try and build on that idea. So even though the idea might be given to you, your duty is still to keep improving on that idea and keep it going. When I frame a shot, you watch the scene, you read the words, you try and appreciate the location you're in, which can be often either geographical or light-driven. And then you start from the beginning. You start from usually from a shot that encompasses the whole scene, and then you break it down into sections that will cover the people involved or the story involved in that scene. I look for strong shots, good, nice compositions, but it's no good having a nice composition if you're not telling the story. The story is the key thing, isn't it? You know, let's just say it's a sad character or an angry character. You would immediately start finding your frame would just be heavier or harder or lower, or you know, the mood of the actor will also just draw you to frame the camera in a slightly different way. So sometimes it's not just a signature style that you might have, it's what's happening in front of you which just draws your eye to land the frame in a certain way. I think it's um, very much an instinct thing, be it a long shot or a mid shot or a close up. It's just a question of getting the right balance. There's no hard and fast rules to it, really. If a shot is wrong, it's more obvious than if a shot is right. You know, it just doesn't sit. However, there are no rules, and sometimes if you search around, it's, it becomes very interesting. I would say the greatest challenge we've come across on Game of Thrones is probably the terrain for us. Yes, we shoot some very beautiful photographs, or at least I hope we do, but to get the cameras into those positions and to overcome the challenges and still make it look fantastic and great, that's the big thing. Wind, rain, heat, often these locations are dusty and gritty, so the gear's always having to be sort of carefully looked after. The chances are we'll have a lot of horses or a fight sequence, so we're gonna generate more dust, as well as that we'll probably put lots of fire aspects in. There'll probably be lots of special effects guys with big fans throwing grit through them to even make it even worse. So whatever the environment is, we tend to sort of enhance it to make it more exciting visually. But as a result, yeah, it, it's quite punishing on the crews. It's tough, it's working a lot of the time in rain and mud with the camera covered up in plastic and us on Gore-Tex out in all weathers. And little things like changing a filter becomes a major deal. I have to say that all the camera assistants and the grips do a fantastic job and uh, they make my job much easier. It's really the understanding that what you see on the monitors or what you see through the eyepiece of the cameras, that really is the work of absolutely every on the crew. For me, it's most important thing that that's recognised and that people really sort of appreciate that it takes absolutely every member of this crew for that to happen and it be as good as it is. Over the six seasons, my experience on Game of Thrones has been quite extraordinary. It's given me such an exciting amount of challenges. Crane work, steady cam, handheld. It's just been extraordinary. I've been so very, very lucky and I will look back on it in the years to come with you know, great pride. The camera operator is almost the best seat in the house. You know, you are right at the front. Anything that happens, that camera's moved by you, and you are then with your actors. And often, if their performance is extraordinary, which is quite regular on this show, then you really are drawn in and really in a fantastic place to be part of that. Best seat in the house, it really is. <laughs>